it's been a minute so welcome guys hello how's everybody doing <laughs> i'm talking like as if i'm going live yeah this isn't live this is pre-recorded <laughs> and um i know it's been a minute since i've made a video and the reason that is is because i never really knew what to make a video about like i've done like you know about vaping i've done video games i've done this i've done that but i never really found my niche so over the course of time since I made the last video, I've wanted to make videos here and there, but I never knew how to start them. And, you know, I'm not the best with any of this, like, <laughs> but I think I figured out what types of videos I'd like to put out and when I do put them out. And that's advice and videos and, you know, just general things that people, I think people might want to, you know, might have a similar opinion to me about, which really... I have an open mind about a whole lot of things, so my opinions, my thoughts, and all that is kind of not normal to say, but it is normal for me, and that's what I'm mostly known for, and I'm, I'm just that overall general guy that people come to for when they need advice or whatever, and I do apologize for any of the background noise, it's, it's whatever, I'm doing this like old style videos and so like when I turn away and stuff like I'm watching for background noise in case so back to what I was originally saying I never really knew and then I was like well advice like what, what am I good at like what can I bring to the table that I'm you know people might want to hear or whatever might find interesting you know who knows and that's advice and my thoughts and whatnot on things that I've come across through either through social media or, you know, just throughout my daily life. So, case in point, you know, uh, here's a, here's a, where's a good one? What's a good one? I mean, if I had a computer, this would be a lot easier, but uh, got to work with what you can. Um, recent one, relationships. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I... I personally kind of find relationships tedious. Not not in the general, like, oh, no, no, like, they, they kind of are tedious in the way that not everybody knows how to um, have one, it seems like. Because, you know, so many of us either grew up like me, I grew up with a, mother, uh, with a single mom, um, her relationship with males, and stuff, they weren't so great. I mean, she had a few of them that were wonderful. But other than that, you know, none of them suck. And then as far as my sperm donor goes, I mean, he literally changed women like I changed underwear for a while. So, I didn't have, between my parents, I didn't have that relationship you know what a relationship should actually be now it wasn't until like my grandparents and stuff and I got old enough and I started asking and then even like my aunts and my uncles and just general family members that I knew that had stable relationships what was needed to hold one and I mean I had a little bit of common sense on what how relationships should be and how they should work but I had to search for myself like I mean Come on, it's it's one of those things you got to look for and watch other people do, other than experience. But like I've seen it so many times with my friends and family members that, and just general people all around me was is that they it's not so it's not so easy with just getting the experience yourself and. So I decided to ask around. And so when it came time, now I haven't had a relationship last longer than like three months. So I'm like the worst person to ask, you know, about this. But as an outsider looking in and someone that's generally asked this question to literally most couples that have worked through like miracles and stuff, you're like, how the hell did you stick together? You know, I've learned through them. And this is what I come up with, all right? So if you're ever having relationship issues, you can break it down into specific parts. So say, like, communication, all right? One of the biggest things, you know, 
is communication. And one thing I've noticed in relationships and why they don't work and why they become tedious is because one or both people don't know how to properly communicate, like say feelings, um, thoughts, and stuff like that. There's just no communication whatsoever. I mean, yeah, there's the small talk, but nothing deep. And when you're in a relationship, you can't, you, you, you have to properly communicate things or else it's not going to work. One sec. <laughs> it, it's just not going to work. And it... It brings a lot of relationships down. I'm sorry, like I was fixing, uh, I was fixing my button here. It, it brings a lot of relationships down. Like it literally has. I've seen it tear many relationships apart. All right, that's one. That's one of the major ones. So we'll, we'll go down to two. All right, and then two. Let your baggage, putting your baggage onto somebody else, and not owning your own baggage. And that's one of the biggest things I've come to find other than communication breaks down relationships. More times than not, is people so afraid. You know, and it goes into communications, communication as well, but you're, when you decide to get into a relationship with somebody, you not only have to work around their baggage, because everybody has baggage. Nobody comes out of this world with none. Like... If someone tells you they don't have any baggage, they're full of hard garbage. I'm sorry to tell you. It's a downright lie. However, you will come across people that you're like, do you have any baggage? And they do. It's just they've learned how to deal with that. Um, but you're going to come across those people. You might even be one of those people yourself that, that has that amount of baggage, like that trust issues. Like... Um, if the overthinking, the looking for anything wrong, because someone else did that, and you got to own that, like, you can't just put that on somebody else, because literally they have nothing to do with that, unless, you know, they're, they're actually literally the person that had everything to do with it, and you're still with them, and you're like, hey, and then, you know, the best thing you can do is, is either you know, kind of not be in that toxic relationship because that's pretty toxic. Or, you know, or try to work it out as best you can, but sometimes at that point, it's kind of time to call it quits. But, you know, that's getting off topic here. So, so, where was I? So, putting, owning your own baggage. Don't put that on other people because they literally have nothing to do with it. Now, communicate... If you're having, you know, anxiety problems, like, because of your baggage, you know, it, communicate that with your partner. Let them know. They will, they can help you. They will help you through it. They will, they'll give you reassurance. It, it's an amazing thing when you add communication to a lot of things in relationships. See? But... That's another thing, you know, it, it, everything coincides with one another. And, yeah, it's going to take time for trust to build. That's one of the hugest things in, that people carry around with them through relationships is they can't trust their partners. I've come across so many people that they don't, they can't trust anybody because they literally shove that mistrust onto people and aren't willing to let people gain that trust. You know, it's one of those things, if you can't learn to trust some other people and you're going to let that the pe the person or people who gave you that mistrust, you know, and people, you know, <laughs> I just lost my train of thought, but who who gave that to you, you know, if you can't learn to you know, be all right. This is someone different. This is not them. You know, it, it, you're just closing yourself off. So therefore, the relationship is not doomed, but it's going to be a lot of work put onto that other person. And then, 
another one is is in relationships is you can't rely on your other person to define who you are see a relationship is defined by two individuals coming together for one common goal you know and that's to love each other right i mean or at least it should be but it's one of those things like you can't become that person you're dating like it's not healthy what i mean is i've literally seen somebody become the person that they're dating and they became totally toxic they ruined all their other relationships that they had friendships to the point where they weren't they weren't fixable because they tried so hard to become the same person that they were dating and they ended up ruin, ruining that relationship because the person didn't want someone that was becoming codependent or dependent on them they they were with that person because they were independent at one point so that's another thing i've come to find now this is all stuff i found through watching and observing people now now three or okay i mean this four or five you know we lost track right i think this is four the biggest thing is is find somebody um find somebody that you, you know you, you let yourself be yourself instead of being someone you're not <laughs> excuse me sorry be let someone find someone that you can be you with don't try to hide every part of you because that's falsifying who you are and that's giving them a false sense you know if you can't be you around them then you shouldn't be with them like my biggest thing is is and i've given this advice plenty of times if you know you can't trust them like literally if you can't because they have proven otherwise you know proven that you can't trust them leave the relationship um if you can't be who yourself if they're trying to change who you are now aside from being a total raging jerk face you know we all know those people that are narcissist narcissistic um a-holes you know the toxic people you know just don't don't just, just let it go let it go a lot of times the best thing you can do to avoid like all that heartache and that baggage is to let things go we we keep on holding things that you know in hopes that people are going to change that don't want to change i've given that advice so many times like for instance i i had a friend who of a friend of a friend whose wife literally she said yes because at one point i'm sure she did like the feller loved him but she said yes because she said you know and he didn't find this out until nearly divorced her that she only said yes because she felt pressured and the friend of the friend of the friend didn't force her to it was like he popped the question because he felt that way and come to find out when he was away at work and stuff she was cheating on him and he didn't know and th like he was so madly in love with this chick that it tore him up and you know when i talked to him because i knew him both I was like, dude, she's pretty toxic as it is dating here, man. Like, be careful, man. I mean, if she makes you happy, that's your business. But, you know, just be worried about that. And, you know, I'm one of those people that I'll tell you, I hate I hate to tell you I told you so. But I fucking love telling people I told you so. I mean, kind of narcissistic myself. But 
I mean, it's always a good feeling when you're you're right about that. You're like, you know, you warned somebody, but, you know, you didn't want to come across off as, you know, like, like you were jealous or, you know, any other of that type of stuff that people will call you when you're calling someone out for who they really are as you're seeing it. But, I mean, all that stuff happened and she was that typical really toxic person she didn't know how to communicate anything um she had a load of baggage that she let literally put onto that person and all the meanwhile this person was trying to be the most fantastic understanding person he could be and help her through it all not let it weigh him down until it finally started to do it. And then, you know, she eventually stopped, you know, talking to him when he was away from work and stuff like that. Dropped all communication because he had a job at the time where he'd be away, away from home for a couple weeks. And she would stay home. And she would end up going with her friends and whatnot, and which was cool commending him for that i mean i know plenty of people that have trust issues to the point where yeah no go but it was one of those things that i thought was really cool he was he's a really open-minded guy so i mean i I could kudos you know he didn't let his own stuff good example of how he didn't let his own stuff his own baggage dictate the relationship so you know, while he was away, she'd go out under the guise of under the guise of hanging out with friends, cheated on him with you know quite a few people, and then you know he found out, and he he gave her a choice. Now I I really commend him for this. Like this is grade A like grade A guy here. He gave her a choice. He's like, okay, we can work this out. Like I don't even care about. Like, you know, it sucks, that it hurts that you cheated on me, but we can work this out. You know, we can work through all this, you know, and this is what I mean by to- actually a completely toxic person was, is, and like I told him, I was like, dude, I wouldn't have even given her the choice. Like, I would have been like, no, go, you know, it's done and over. Apparently you can't respect me enough. Oh, and that's, that's the last one. Respect your partner. Once you get them, respect them. But we'll put off on that. So he gave, he gave her a choice of, you know, stay and, stay and fix the marriage along with him. You know, help him fix the marriage. They'll do it together. Or you go with the other person. She chose the other person. And it was a big, ugly thing. And, you know. But that's what toxic people mean. And that's what I mean by letting someone like that go. Because in the long run, when you deal with those types of people... And this is why I say it is because it becomes messy. It, come, it hurts you more than it hurts them. I guarantee you, especially like if you're the nice one. Now, if you're the toxic one, it's let's face it, it's not going to hurt you so much as you think, as you're saying it is. But it's going to hurt the good people, the people that are asking, "Why did this happen to me?" It's going to hurt them a lot more. And so, just learn to let it go. Don't keep something that's toxic to you. And which leads into this next one with relationships. Like I said, respect. Respect your partner. Respect that they are an individual. Respect that they also have friends, family, and other things that, that make them who they are. Make them, you know... It's it's the things that the, that makes them the reason why you love them, that you want to be with them. Also respect that they have hobbies and jobs and lives outside of this relationship. You know, it's one of those things you see a lot of. Is And also, one of the biggest things, respect that they do also have baggage and issues and stuff like that just like you do. If you stop seeing them in that way, it just kind of runs all together. Like, you know, they they should be this perfect person. But I hate to break the news, they're not. Nobody is perfect. So, I mean, I just wanted to give that a little brief, you know, 
I know that's not brief. It's about 20 minutes here. But I just wanted to, you know, throw that out there, see how this does. And if this makes it, fantastic. I'll do more. I'll find more topics and stuff. I got plenty of them. So I'll catch you all later.